everyone, welcome back. I have a video today that's been a long time in the making and that's because we really wanted to give you a good review. I'm gonna address today whether you need a double stroller and also do a mini review of the Up A Baby Vista. The reason why we're addressing the question of whether you need a double stroller and also doing a little bit of a review of the Up A Baby Vista is because I personally decided I did not need a double stroller. And I'm gonna give you all the reasons why I decided not to. But then Olivia, who is on the mixed makeup team, she decided she did need a double stroller and she kind of listed out all the, all the reasons why she wanted to have one. And I thought this was really interesting for you know, like perspective for anybody who's trying to decide if they need a double stroller. So she ended up going with the Up A Baby Vista as the double stroller that she chose. And I know that a lot of moms are looking into that one and it is a little bit pricey and they wanna know if it's worth the price. So she went ahead and sent in clips of herself using the stroller. And we discussed a lot of the pros and cons of that stroller. And I'll tell you right away, she had mostly pros for the stroller. Like she loves the stroller and she thinks it's a good stroller to purchase if it's in your budget. The people that I think pretty much are guaranteed to like need a double stroller are people who obviously have twins, right? Like if you're having babies that are the same age, you obviously need a double stroller. That's like almost like the main reason why I would say you get a double stroller. Second, if your babies are really close in age, which I have lots of friends who pretty much like went back to back like pregnancies, right? So if you have kids that are like a year apart in age, then they're pretty much, you know, in that same boat of, you know, you want the double stroller so that you can strap them both in. They're not, you know, gonna be walking around as much and not be as active yet when you are having your second baby. So that's another good reason to get a double stroller. The other reason why you might wanna purchase a double stroller is if you know that you're gonna have multiple kids, like you wanna be a mom and you just know you're gonna be knocking out them babies, then it might be a good idea to get a double stroller right away. And the reason for that is because most of these double strollers, including this up a baby Vista, you obviously have to research Research this depending on the brand you want. They can be used as a one baby stroller and then you can add the extra seat later on. And that's important because some strollers are not made to convert into a double stroller. So that's something to keep in mind too. If you know you're gonna be like just knocking out babies, then definitely get a double stroller ahead of time because you can use it as a single stroller and then add to it. So that might be something you want to look at when you're just having your first child in general. Something else to consider is your lifestyle and you know, like how anxious you might feel. Like if you know that when you had your first baby, you were a really anxious mom or your, your husband or your partner were really anxious about like, you know, taking the baby out and that kind of stuff, then you might wanna get a double stroller because you might feel more comfortable taking your kids out together when they are both strapped in. And that's kind of like the most important thing to keep in mind is, do you need your oldest child to be strapped in? while your baby is also strapped in. When I say lifestyle also, I think it's also considering, are you a baby wearer? I, I for instance, am a baby wearer. And what I mean by that is, I liked using like a ring sling especially, Ergo Baby Carrier is one of my go-tos. My husband loves like the Baby Bjorn Carrier for instance. So if you tend to wear your baby a lot, you might not actually end up needing a double stroller. So let's go into my experience specifically and why I chose not to get a double stroller. So I think it's important to hear my perspective and then hear Olivia's perspective for getting a double stroller. And the reason for that is because it might help you decide whether you are the kind of person that's leaning more towards a double stroller and the kind of person that maybe doesn't need one. So for me, there were a few factors. One, the age gap. Nikosh is two and a half years older than Isla. By the time we had my second baby, Isla, we were already kind of like letting Nikosh run around. We weren't necessarily even using the stroller as much when we would go out for walks and everything. He was pretty much like on his way to just being on his own. And also we had a scooter for him at that point and he had mastered it. He turned into the scooter kid. So that's something to keep in mind. Like by the time we had our second baby, we weren't really using the stroller with him as much. So that was the main decision that drove whether we needed a double stroller or not. By the time I had my second baby, we weren't using it. Another reason why we decided not to have a double stroller is because our stroller, our main stroller stays home. Like this is a stroller that we use to walk around our neighborhood, to walk to stores or restaurants that are nearby and stuff. But this isn't a stroller that I pack up and put into my car. This is a stroller that stays home. And because we already knew that Nikosh wasn't using the stroller as much, we just didn't really feel like we needed to have 
that double stroller. Like we didn't think that we needed to have a double stroller to take out and about on trips or anything like that. Like it just, it didn't make sense for us to get that double stroller. Another thing though, just so you guys know, it doesn't mean that we weren't using our stroller for Nikosh. We actually still use it for Nikosh too. We got one of those kickboards for it. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a little attachment that goes onto your stroller and it's actually in the front of the stroller where you're holding it. The one that you can purchase for our stroller, which is a bugaboo, it actually has the ability for your kid to sit on it or to stand on it. So Nikosh is constantly using it. He'll sit on it, he'll stand, and sometimes he'll jump off whenever he wants to and he wants to like maybe see you know, something that's on the ground. Like if he sees some leaves that he loves or wants to pick up some of the rocks or something while we're on a walk, he can easily get on and off. And I think he really loves that ability and that freedom. But in talking to Olivia, she didn't really love the idea of relying on just the kickboard because she wanted that like reassurance, for instance, that her baby and her child would be strapped in to the stroller. So it makes a lot of sense. It's kind of like, you really have to assess your mentality and like how you, you like how you wanna handle things. So those were pretty much my reasons. They're very straightforward reasons, but those were the reasons why I chose not to get a double stroller. It had nothing to do with bulkiness or anything like that, because from what I've seen from a lot of strollers, including the Up Baby Vista, it seems like they've really mastered it where, you know, like the stroller seats are not taking up so much more space if you add the second one. And in this case, they're just kind of like piggybacking each other. So it's really not taking up much more space than a regular stroller would have. Before we get into Olivia's review, the reason why she got a double stroller is really interesting when you compare it to mine and it gives you a lot of perspective. My kids are two and a half years apart in age and Olivia's kids are about two years apart in age. And I know that that doesn't sound like it would make a big difference. And when they're older, when they're like teenagers, it won't make any difference whatsoever. But if you have babies, you know that those few months can make such a huge difference in their development. So I think that played a little part in how Olivia decided that she was gonna go with a double stroller versus me deciding I didn't need one. That six months made a huge difference in Nikosh's development. He was then running around, not using his stroller as much, dependent on his, you know, his scooter a lot more and stuff. Whereas, you know, at the two year mark, we were just introducing the, the scooter to him and we were just starting to get comfortable with the fact that he like wanted to be free and not in his stroller as much. So I think there is a little bit of that difference in the age as well, the age gap. So that's something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that Olivia is a work from home mom. And this was like pre pandemic where everybody became work from home parents. Like she actually was, you know, doing this like hybrid where she has her on office hours where, you know, she has somebody come and help her at home for specific hours of the day. And then the rest of the day she is full-time mom. So I think that makes a big difference for her because she's with her kids alone a lot of the time. And then again, for some perspective, when I go for walks with my kids, it's usually like a family activity. So my husband is with me or like grandma is with me or something like that. So I'm never really actually alone as often with my kids when I'm taking them out in the stroller. Whereas Olivia is like doing a lot of her errands and you know, like doing play dates and stuff with both of her kids and she's taking her stroller with her. So she likes to have that reassurance of, you know, like having both of her kids strapped in because she's alone a lot of the time when she's taking both of them out. All right, so now let's get to the review part of the Up A Baby Vista. I want you guys to meet Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm on the mixed makeup team. I have two daughters, a two and a half year old and a six month old. And we've been using the Upper Baby Vista double stroller for the past six months. And I'm gonna walk you through my review of it. So now I wanna walk through the pros and cons of the stroller. I think the pros greatly outweigh the cons and I really do love this. So first and foremost, I love how it looks. Normally I have a leather bar over here, but I wanted to show the snack tray that you can also purchase. But normally there's a leather detailing like this. I picked the green color, which to me, the car seat doesn't come in the green, but eventually we'll have the other seat on and that will, you know, match. And then you also can buy these cup holders, put them on either side. We also have a ton of storage space. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry for the babbling. That's Kiara, our six month old. So there's a ton of storage space under here. I have a giant diaper bag and I'm just gonna show you how it fits. All right, tons of room to spare the storage space, which every mom knows is a huge, huge deal. And I just wanna show you, even holding a phone in my hand, how easy it is to sort of reconfigure this. So right now, like I said, I have my two and a half year old here. That's my six month old. Um, and then I have my infant down here in her car seat. And I can easily, with one hand, just lift this baby up. This is meant to be done with two hands, but right here you can see how easy it is. 
just squeeze these and you have your toddler seat. Right now it's just the base and I have the kickboard attached here, the piggyback. So all I have to do is grab the car seat. I would normally take off the adapters, but for the sake of demonstration, that's how easy it was to replace the infant carrier piece and make it sort of a single stroller where my toddler can ride on her piggyback and my infant can sit here. Since our toddler isn't so excited to be sat in a long uh, period of time, so she likes to run around. So this kickboard is nice because she'll be able to sort of jump on if she starts getting tired after our walks. And look how easy it is to push. Now, while I love the stroller so much, there's a ton of pros. If I had to choose a few cons, my first one would be that the infant is currently a little bit further away from us than the toddler is. And I know there's other configurations. Once the youngest gets to be a little bit older, you get sort of two of these types of seats and then they can sort of face forward face towards you and then they go all sorts of different ways and you can rearrange them. But right now when the baby is a baby in the bassinet, you have to configure it all the way at the end. So you don't really keep as close an eye as you might want on your newborn. That was the only thing. Right now it's not as big of an issue now that she's six months old, but in the beginning I did want to see her while we were walking. Other than that, the other piece I would say is that this thing has to come apart in order to bring it in your trunk. So if you're the type of person who's bringing a double stroller out on your errands, you would have to detach the kickboard. You'd have to detach the toddler seat and then the car seat, which isn't a big deal because you're putting them in the car. But there are many pieces. And if you have a small car like we do it does take up a lot of room not to mention your grocery bags or whatever else so if i had to be very critical that's what i would say about this and there you have it that's our review of the up a baby double sienna how do you like your stroller <laughs> kiara how do you like your stroller raving reviews over here <laughs> There you have it. That's a review of the Uppa Baby Vista Double. So a couple of things to know about the Uppa Baby Vista. So this is a fairly pricey stroller. You are in the hole for about a thousand bucks, like anywhere in between that, like anywhere, what I've seen online at some of the retailers that sell the Uppa Baby Vista is, it looks like it's around like 950 to like $1,200, depending on what accessories and items that you're purchasing for it. So some of the things that really stood out to me about the Uppa Baby Vista and that Olivia pointed out as well, is that just like most strollers, you can get adapters for it and put your car seat, your infant car seat in and out of the stroller. For the seat options of the stroller, you can have two regular toddler seats, you can have one regular toddler seat and a bassinet, or you can have your toddler seat and put a car seat. It's all kind of dependent on what it is that you want. Another thing to know about the Uppa Baby Vista is it looks like, for the most part, when you buy it, it comes with one toddler seat and one bassinet. You can, instead of the bassinet, you can use your infant car seat instead. You just have to get adapters for it. If you eventually want to have two toddler seats on that double stroller though, on your Uppa Baby Vista, you have to buy a separate toddler seat to then replace one of the bassinets or whatever it was that you were using. Look who decided to join for the last part of this video, which is really just to say, it's the end of the video. Nikosh actually just got back from a walk. What is that? The dragon. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh, it's from a dragon? Yeah, there was a dragon thing. All right, so the point of the video, I guess, now that we're at the end of it, is truly that the decision to get a double stroller is very personal, it turns out. There are so many different factors that need to go into your decision to get a double stroller. We've done totally fine without a double stroller. Nikosh is four now, so I can't imagine that we'd go back at all and, and change that decision. Whereas Olivia is obsessed with her double stroller. She recommends it to everybody. She's surprised that I have survived without a double stroller, and she loves her, so there are so many different different things to take into account. And I hope that this video was helpful in answering some of those questions, or I guess like at least wrapping your head around the idea of getting a double stroller or not. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys later. Say bye-bye.